Hello, how are you doing today? Hope you're fine. Happy New Year once more. Okay, so today, in this short video, I just want to show us how to dissolve soda ash so that it doesn't have lumps. Because I've got this question so many times that um, how do I dissolve my soda ash so that it doesn't form lumps? Because it can easily block under. It can easily, not even a lump, it can easily block, form block under. We don't know how to dissolve it very well. So today, I want to show us how to dissolve soda ash so that it doesn't block under. And just look at it. It's very, very easy. All you need to do is just to be stirring simultaneously as you pour. And as you pour it, it will dissolve. Because unlike caustic soda, soda just does not have the ability to, to generate enough heat to dissolve itself instantly when you pour in, in, in liquid. So that is why you need to stir simultaneously as you pour. So let's go. Just watch me as I do. Okay, pour. Pour it. Just pour. Pour. You can see I'm stirring as we are pouring our soda ash. Continue pouring. So I'm I'm pouring, I'm stirring as I do this. It will not form any block. It will not form any block underneath it. It will dissolve completely, completely. So don't just pour your soda ash and leave it thinking that it will dissolve by itself. No, it won't. It does not have the ability to generate heat like caustic soda does. So you must help it by stirring it simultaneously as you pour so if you do this then you will not have lumps you will not have a um, problem with your soda ash um, having to block underneath or develop any form of it it will dissolve completely completely as you can see it will not form any lumps it will not form anything just stay stay simultaneously if you if i'm not visioning i would have used one of my hands to pour and use the other hand to stir but since i'm i'm, I'm holding the, uh, uh, the the camera in one of my hands that's why i'm i'm, I'm it's helping me to pour so if 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 you can't even do it alone get a help let somebody pour for you while you stay so you can see we we'll finish pouring and it has dissolved completely i'm going to keep my hand right underneath it so that you see that there's nothing blocks under it. Don't be afraid. Soda ash will not eat. It will not eat your your arms. It's not like caustic soda. Please don't try it with caustic soda. Don't put caustic soda. Don't touch caustic soda with your bare hands. So, but with soda ash, you can. You, you, after that, just make sure you wash your hand very very well and apply cream so that it does not form white and does not make your skin white. Okay, so I'm going to just dip my hands. You can see. Look at my hands. See. There is nothing like block. It has dissolved completely underneath. So just do this, and you won't have any problem with your soda ash forming block underneath it. Hope this video helped. If you have further questions, you can leave it in the comment section for me, or call me, or send me a WhatsApp message on 80 2904 Thank you.